What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're going to be doing the Leap Attack Barbarian. Uh, this is something that is also slightly new, thanks to the adjustment to Leap Attack. I don't believe it's going to be amazing in hell, unfortunately, due to the way the damage kind of works out. But I do think it's at least interesting enough. It's something you guys could use when you're playing through the game, have some fun. Um, and you can just kind of mess around and, and all of this stuff with it, right? So I do think there's still some fun to be had with this character. And, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just dive on in to Mr. Leafadelphia over here sharpening his axe. And we can just jump right into it and have a small okay. discussion. So the first thing to discuss is obviously we have leap attack. I'm going to get a different screen and move myself out the way. We have leap attack here, and you can see that it has this damage on it, right? Um, and what this does is a damage kind of pulse and an AoE around it. You also have a leap attack bonus of 10% damage from, per level from leap right here. So not only are you getting the, you know, leap attack when you do come down and hit, you get the chance to hit right there. You obviously get attack, run, attack rating and damage percent bonus to that. Um, but you also get that little AoE damage pulse. And like I said, this isn't going to be crazy high enough damage in hell to be super, super great. Maybe if you really stack up some plus skills and get some gear going, it'll kind of get a little better when you get there. Um, but... Through Nightmare, at the very least, you can actually have an okay kind of play with this and an okay kind of plan. So we're going to be maxing these two, obviously, there. Um, this is level 18, though. Until then, we'll probably just do, you know, basic double swing strategies. Uh, and then additionally, we'll probably be leaping around with a big old mace. So getting mace mastery will be good. Getting some natural resistance for all resistance. Maybe get increased speed for a little bit of run walk. Um... And, of course, there's also all of the battle orders uh, that we can do, of course, for boosting up our life. Um, battle Cry is also really nice. Decreases enemies' defense and damage, which is actually super nice. You can even see just at level 1, minus 25% enemy damage, minus 50% enemy defense. That's pretty good, and as you get a few points into this, it really starts to add up. Um, now, additionally, we could get an Act 5 Mercenary, and I believe he has Battle Cry as well. Uh, and so we could kind of have him to be our Battle Crier, and so he can kind of lower that requirement down for him and stuff. Which may be something that we end up doing, you know, have a little barb barb action going on. But, very, very good skill. Um, Warcry obviously has the stun, and this is used in the crying, uh, you know, the sing barb if you want to just do tons of damage. But even having a point in this uh, when you're not doing it, just to kind of stun and help out, can also be interesting. We'll see if we want to do anything like that. Taunt. I mean, honestly, a lot of these are very good skills right here. So we'll probably just be looking at all of those things. Um, strength. We're going to probably want enough strength for gear. We're going to be carrying around a big maul, so I imagine we'll want a decent amount of strength on this character. Probably not really any or a lot into dexterity. Yes, it adds attack rating, which is nice, but we'll probably just try and get that from other sources. And the rest into vitality per usual. So, we can start off and... Uh, I'll move this over here real fast. You can change anywhere from players 1 to 8. And this is, again, where it can be really nice to just get to that fast level 6. So starting off the game on like players 8 usually isn't a terrible idea. As the monsters out here really aren't that difficult. Um, you know, you just get a couple zombies, a couple fallen, some quill rats, whatever. Um, but you can kind of kill them, maybe pick up a tiny bit of gold, which would be nice. And then we can just go forward from that. Does Leap Attack have any weird things like Smiter Worm where it doesn't proc or doesn't get critical strike? Not that I know of. And you can see that's three monsters killed. Uh, and on the like fourth, fifth monster, we're going to level up. Fourth monster. So this is where players 8 just can be really nice on top of the you know additional drops. You can just get a really fast level right there. Um, and I like to put this first level into Mace Mastery. Because I'm going to be getting a scepter a little bit here uh, soon, which will be useful for that. 
We'll set down our TP and just continue forward and we'll dump our points into uh, Vitality right there for added life. Again, mostly going to be focusing on that. Just looking. I'd love to find like a chest or something here as I don't really have a ton of gold. I want to have uh, about 360 to 400 gold. And yes, I have the experience shrine, so that does speed up, you know, the experience there a tiny bit. But I would like to find just a little bit more gold. A ring, an amulet, a jewel, um, something along those lines. Even just getting some of these potions and stuff won't be bad, as it'll all help us out right there. Yeah, maybe a little practice. Now, obviously, if you have some gold already and you feel fine just dumping that over to your character, you can just do that. If you're starting completely brand new, you like characters to be completely separate, whatever it is, then you can do it this way. So we're playing it as if it's a completely naked bear character and we have nothing to help him out. And we will sell some stuff. And like I say, we're just looking for, like, this is a pretty good scepter. 449 and it's got two open sockets um that's that's really solid right one max damage two open sockets just gonna be really really helpful um this would also be fine get a little extra ed you can see a little higher damage right there whatever we're just looking for some basic but i do like the sockets they don't really cost anything extra and they do give you a little bit of um room right there <laughs> I, I got you for five, Grumpy. There are many foes here. So you can run around in here again if you want to be players one. You can if you want to be on P8. You can see it's not that difficult on players eight, and it's just really nice to get early levels. That is that is basically the facts right here. Getting to level six is just really annoying uh, for a barbarian sometimes to get to that double swing. And so the easier, faster you can get there without having to be fighting, you know, Rakanishu all the time and all, all these monsters that are gonna be uh, more difficult, the better. Check nothing back there. And we've got more points. We'll continue with Mace Mastery. Now, at level 5, I'm going to put a point into Bash so that at level 6, I can get Double Swing. So we will be making that play. I, I believe Steel is Swords only. Right? So we wouldn't be able to make Steel in this puppy. Hopefully that guy didn't resurrect a man up there. But now with our damage, we're able to one, two shot most monsters. And again, this is on players eight right now, you know, so we're getting a little bit of experience. We'll dump it more into vitality still. And uh, keep going there. Now our target uh, strength and dexterity, we will be boosting those at some point here. So maybe we'll get a little bit of dex here soon is going to be 41 strength and 35 dexterity and this is just what's required for flails we don't need to get you know the whole tal 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 malice flail setup since we're going to be shifting out of that fairly you know soon but at least grabbing some basic flails that we can put whatever in um, can be helpful just for a little bit of added damage Steel is axe, mace, and swords. Yeah. So even though this says mace class, it's actually a scepter. There's actually a subset. Maces have four. Uh, mace class is divided into four separate like subsets, and those do not all fall under mace when it comes down to rewards. It's really silly. So maces have a mace, a hammer, a scepter. And a, what's the fourth one, chat? Mace, hammer, scepter, and a club. Yep. 
So if something can be made in a scepter, but not a club, you know, I mean, again, even though they both stay mace class. It's quite silly. Okay, level five, so we get that point in bash to prep ourselves for level six, and I'll start getting my dexterity up now. One monster left, as always. Need to make sure that you leave one monster somewhere in the den so you can run around like a madman looking for it. And there we go. The rogues are safe for the moment. Nice and easy. Now we can come back and we'll be getting into double swing soon so we can also look again at just getting another weapon and here we can see 15 ED, 3 attack rating. Wow, the perfect superior. <laughs> Gorgeous. So now we have two of these and this is where we can, you know, put some chip gems into those if we want. I'm going to not use that one. Um, but we can put some, some of those together. Also, if you do find strangling gas potions, those can be really, really nice to use uh, or to save for later on. We do have an extra skill point here and we'll put it into Mace Mastery. And we'll go to Cold Plains. Yeah, that's that's funny. The 15-3. And we have double swing, so now we can start swinging our little heart out. And again, I'm still on P8 and I'm just leveling up like a madman on this group. And if you do get a group like this, you can actually sometimes reset to see if you'll continue to get said group. Um, as it can just be huge experience like you can see that was really really nice so if you want you can totally try again see if you can run out there and get that same pack hanging out over there doesn't always happen but sometimes it does this time i won't but we will still get a boss game. hello mr c amelity finally i can catch you on stream uh-huh here a little cheer for you and for me, because I rolled a perfect infinity on a scythe and sold it for seven burrs on ladder. Lol. Perfect infinity, let's go. Here's a chip topaz, we'll put that in there as well for some even more damage. We'll go another point in double swing. This is where you can kind of decide how many points you want in double swing at this point. Um, as once you hit nine points in double swing, you actually start... Uh, it costs zero mana. So the amount of mana it costs is two per swing, then 1.7, then like 1.4, then 1.1, then 0.8, you know, whatever. And uh, at nine points, it costs zero, and anything more than nine points will actually go in the reverse direction. We'll go with more dexterity and vitality. So that's kind of a fun little fact. So you can bounce around between that and Mace Mastery. Mace Mastery ends up giving a little bit more uh, for your character. But again, the mana cost can be just annoying. So generally, putting a few points into Mace Mastery I don't think is a horrible idea. And we'll go ahead and complete our dexterity for now. We'll get another point in Double Swing. Mace class is divided into clubs, maces, or hammers. Well, you're also missing Scepter. Scepter is a fourth class. A flail is a mace class mace. Yes. You were leaving it out? Okay. Do I hello fresh my turkey? No, I factor it. Exclamation mark factor. And this is still Players 8, you guys. We are just enjoying crushing on Players 8 right now. Because you can. Don't forget that your Prime sub does not auto-renew. You know, it, it's, a, it's a big thing if you're able to... That's a good reminder. Thank you, Sky. Uh, it's a big thing if you're able to get your... Um, 
get your character kind of ahead of the curve, right? That's a huge thing in Diablo 2. If you're entering an area and you're under leveled, you you know, you're going to have way more difficulty than if you're a little bit over leveled, have a little bit extra gear, have a little bit extra, you know, stat skills, attack rating, all of that stuff. It does a massive, a massive amount. And especially on a character like the Barbarian, exactly. If you enter an area underleveled on a Barbarian, it becomes so much harder than if you just come in a little bit on top. So, any plans for Thanksgiving? I'm gonna go hang out with Moo Girl's fam. You're deep frying a turkey and smoking? Don't smoke. And uh, watching the Cowboys wreck the Giants. That's my Thanksgiving plans. They better. Am I from Texas? Yeah. This is also why normally I wouldn't say, you know, like you want to focus on killing boss monsters, right? But I don't hate killing some random things on the Barbarian and just getting a little bit extra. Um, it, it's just helpful. It's just a helpful thing. We'll continue with double swing. I'll take it to like six and we'll go ahead and go more vitality right now. We can get our strength here soon. But killing a little bit of extra stuff along the way really does help the barb kind of keep his level advantage. Reading a fantasy novel for Thanksgiving? What do you mean? I I don't know if the Vikings will get wrecked by the Pats. Pats were not looking at anything good. You can see on P8, we still get okay experience. Killing some random stuff. Now we will do some tower runs. I mean, they're against, you know, one of the top defenses. What are you supposed to do with Micah Parsons running down your neck? Like, all you can do is roll over and die. Look for our tower. How did Green Bay beat them then? Refs. I can't carry anymore. And there's some strangling gas potions, which we said will be useful. for boss groups. Aiming for Malice Rooms this run? Probably not. I'm actually gonna leave a TP here as I uh, am close to the exit, so we'll just go forward. Um, getting Stealth will be nice. Maybe getting some Rao Runes, getting the Deer could be not bad. <laughs> That'll be a tough one, Rank. But, uh, you know, Malice will be like, it's like if we happen to get Malice, I would use it. But the thing is, at level 18, we're going to be moving forward. You know, like completely. I'll be going into Leap Attack, where I won't even really care to use that. I'm just going to grab some nice Maul or something. So. And this is where having Poison Gas Potions becomes your friend because do you really want to try and mace all of these dudes no you got a whole gang of dudes chasing you even if you double swing it's gonna be a nightmare 
your best bet here is to get some AoE, and what AoE does the Barbarian have? None right now. So, we're just going to lay down some poison, and that'll be our way of handling a bunch of dudes. I can pick up some more strangling gas pots. Nice and easy. And you don't have to kill all this, right? But, it's, you know, it's all right experience. It's kind of fun. And as it starts to thin out, you can start to whittle them down for a little double swing action. And boom, just like that, you've taken care of a giant pack. We'll go ahead and toss that into there. 11 attack rating. Right now, that sounds lovely. We'll take any little boost. And we'll work forward here, grab ourselves our waypoint, and head back home. I'll go Vitality again. 13 attack rating. Again, we say okay. 8 attack rating. I'm just going to use it right now, purely, but I'm going to get rid of that very soon after. That's just not much. And a little trick, you can actually sell and rebuy Strangling Gas Potions. It will cost a 1,000 a pop, um, but that's a way to kind of refill them to 25 out of 25, which can be helpful. Join my army of the dead. Leap for Buarian A? Eh? Wow, we wow, I guess when you saw the build, you kind of jumped on the occasion. Ha 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 Somebody get him out of here. Get him out of here! Mods, where are you? Awful. Truly awful. And again, this is a good place where having poison potions can be really helpful. As you just kind of will get ganged up on a little bit too much sometimes. You need to kind of thin it out a little bit. What did the rapper 50 Cent do when he got hungry? Um, got a burger? 58. Get him out! Mods, get these people out of this chat. We look for a two open socket armor. So that we can make ourselves a stealth. As that is gonna be nice, having the stealth runeward. Thank you, Duffy. But yeah, other than Tal F, I really don't think there's any need for crazy things right now. Getting some extra Tal runes or something could be nice. So that may be something we end up looking for. Now, I am players 8 right now. However, um, you may want to drop it down some and at this point i may go ahead and lower to like let's go players three and when we kill countess we hey, want to be players you one. keep saying the mods are useless so that practically means you don't give them respect so they don't respect you kappa oh my god you could keep it players eight and keep leveling up like crazy in here that is totally fine i'm gonna drop it slightly down we're also gonna put this in for more damage But we'll still be able to get a little bit of experience and then be able to move forward. Mods talking about you. They better not be talking about that. They best watch what they say. Yep. 
always go left of the way you came in. Okay, I'll go into strength now, as remember we do want to get up to 41 strength. Like you're ready for a chat? So again, just remember before you kill the Countess, you can even spawn her, but before you kill her, we need to change back to players one. Okay. So we go players one. It's now set to players. And this is because the lower the player count, the higher chance of more rune drop she has. This is the only character that this is actually going to uh, be like this. Every other character, higher player count equals higher drop chance. Just this one. Good day. Aw, sorry, Evo. We'll go back to players three. There was the rare mace. We could have grabbed it. Eh, you know, whatever. I'm happy with my two weapons. They do good damage. I'm looking yoked. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I, I don't know if that's calling me buff or fat. Generally, when I think of the egg yolk, I don't think of... I guess that'd be yolked, which is a little different. Yolked. Man, I... Uh, a piece of string walks into a bar and asks for a drink. Uh -huh. Bartender says get out. We yeah. don't serve your kind. Piece of string goes outside, ruffles up his hair, twists himself all around, then goes back in. Bartender says, aren't you that string from earlier? He responds, I'm afraid not. <laughs> yeah. you got your six row to play D2? Let's go. Except flightless. What? Don't let the shirt fool ya poor llama as fragile llama a breeze would make him fall kappa. Okay. We'll continue with Mace Mastery. And we'll go more vitality right now. Also, throwing knives and short stabs are money. And I like money. <laughs> Looking for a two open socket helm. There we go. What can I say? Arms are very pale. It's winter time. Oh 
Remember, we need to go back to players one before we kill the Countess. And overall, we just want Tal F. Any additional Tals would be nice. Um, if we can get ourselves if L F on top of it, or additional Tal runes, or additional, like I said, Nef tier for Nadir later. Rao runes are nice. I mean, honestly, a lot of runes are going to be solid here. So, this is why killing Countess, and again, players one. Killing Countess uh, over and over again is, is never a terrible thing. You get experience, but you also get some nice little bonuses. Good day. Damage. Ooh, 20 attack rating, half freeze durations. Nice. So we do have Neft here, so we have a Nadir now if we want. We also have Ith rune, and we have a Rao rune, which is nice, and something for potentially later on. Um Yeah, we'll go to players five. I don't know, Toka. Make my own run. Uh and we'll go ahead and make Nadir. So Nadir is 10 defense, 30 defense, first missile, 5 strength, 2 to mana per kill, which can be, you know, nice and just helpful in that. Um, but the big thing is it has these Cloak of Shadow charges, and so these can be really useful in, like, the Chaos Sanctuary and stuff later on. I still don't have the Tal. I'm going to go ahead and add 5 more to strength, just so when I take Nadir off, I have 41, and I will get one more so that I have the 41 without the ring either. Um, otherwise, we'll continue with Mace Mastery here. And now we should be pretty good on mana as well. There's going to be very, very low chance that we really run out of mana. As pretty much every time we attack, it's going to cost so little. And then we gain back two mana every time we kill something. So... That combination should uh, keep us pretty fulfilled on mana. Now, if we run into mana burn and stuff, that'll be tough. But, we can just keep rolling through. And our ultimate goal is level 19. At level 19, we'll go gambling, and we'll gamble ourselves a mall. And there you can see there's some mana burn from the ghost, so we will use mana pot there. Um, but level 19, we'll go gamble the mall, and then we can start leap attacking and running around like a little maniac. And that's what we're all here for. to become little maniacs. Thanks, you. <laughs> Makes notes for Sunday, yeah. Llama, I couldn't believe it. What? Somebody tried to sell me a coffin today. That's the last thing I need. fight ghostly archers so I'm just gonna move forward two champions not really uh, crazy about it Join my army of the dead. actually the last thing you need is the shovel <laughs> Morbid. still p8 this is p5 right now this is P5. Trying to figure out our date, shouldn't we? Join my 
AK Chulali the last thing you need is a proper digging site. Back to players one. We hit level 15, which is nice. We'll put one more into strength there and the rest into vitality. And let's go kill El Countess. And we got our Talrin. Perfect. So now, like I say, if you want to continue to farm down there, you totally can. Right? Or you can say, I have my Talrin. Actually, the last thing you need is a good, good friend to delete your browser history and format your hard drives. That's true. And bust them up. I got fired from my job because I kept asking my customers if they would prefer smoking or non-smoking. Apparently, the correct terms are cremation and burial. <laughs> you yikes. This monastery reeks. All right, we'll go players three again here. And just kind of continue forward. So like I say, getting like a couple Talrins or something right now would be nice as it would get us just a little extra poison. But... Oh, spicy. Dragon Grin the Howler. What a name. But having my Tal Tal is all I really need. If I really wanted that, so that would be plenty, but I can go even below that. Just have my Taleth for my stealth later on, which will just give us some faster run walk and stuff, which is very nice. And then we can keep moving. Join my army of the dead. Listen, if yeah. you're no longer amongst how could you care about browser history. Unless, you want to delete yourself furthermore, get it? Because your history. It's bad. Cold enchanted. It's bad. Boo. Boo him. Okay. We'll go ahead and grab the malice. Take this to Jossie. Nah, I don't need to imbue a barb hat. No one should ever be caved. Probably try and imbue like a mall or something later. I am and I'm still going to have some minor questions as I play along through this, so it'll be interesting, because I haven't really done a ton with a uh, leap attack barbarian in this new, new way. So it'll be interesting to see. Now we will come over here and we'll grab this waypoint and something that you can always do when you get this is you can just reset and just see what kind of spawns you get in that champion area coming from this direction. Because if for some reason we are able to get devilkins there coming from this direction, this could be a nice map to uh, reset and uh, level up to see players 8 and get a quick level to 18. Do the jail strings, as they call it. Don't worry about the build llama, I bet this is going to be bumpy ride. I'm sure we'll have fun. Though uh, I am a little concerned for Hell Ancients. Okay, it is just gonna be Wraiths. So we have to come from the other direction for the Devilkins. All 
I mean, we have punched our way through Ancients before. So... Anything's possible. I honestly don't even remember how we punched our way through Ancients. Like, I, saying it out loud, I still don't believe that that's actually a real thing. And I feel like I need to go look at the video. Like, how did it... How did we do it? I'm actually confused. Okay, we'll keep going Mace Mastery, and we've got our Strength and Dexterity, so we'll go into Vitality. One fist after another. But how? How is it done? Hey, Llama. Thanks for all the years of D2 content. Uh -huh. I love D2. Uh -huh. I have a question for a D2 expert like you. Uh -huh. Does the state of Texas do virtual hearings for restraining orders still? Oh or the hearings conducted in person? Wouldn't know. Great question. Sun's out. Guns Next out. Next question. Keep slaying YouTube. Thanks, Grumpy Kitten. I am overburdened. Fang Tom seems fun to pick up. Fun to spear mastery. It's okay, Llama, if you mod me, I'll ban Evo's bad messages on the Go Kappa. Yeah, Evo needs an unmodding. So bad. Uh, where is this map going to turn around? What a terrible jail. Hmm. Ooh, get it, Duffy. All the way down. Wild. Very wild map. <laughs> Alright. Let's go sell some stuff and get some stamina potions. One to max damage, one to mana per kill. We'll take it. Three to energy. Two to energy, but 13 cold res. It is a random jewel. We can keep it for maybe some crafting or something later. Get some staminas. And we'll put some of this stuff in here. Join my army of the dead. No joke, I did a 20 to 20 Sork torch last night and a 20 to 20 Pally torch this morning. MR Llama happy never happened before I subbed to at Merla Mask. Join my army. I mean, I'm not saying it's related. Fun fact Llama, you were wearing the same shirt in your 16.5, half your age plus three foot. Mr. Llama, what? studied these clips too much. <laughs> Haven't washed it since. That's right. Are we still giving away a ladder enigma today? We are! Exclamation mark giveaway. We are giving away an enigma to your ladder character. If you are interested. 22. Wow. Ola Rama. 
go join the giveaway from that link. Please shout out my service dog, Yoda, who died last week from cancer. Thanks. Yoda, you did well, bud. May you enjoy Pup Heaven. Where all the treats are always there. Um, it's not a great ring, but uh, I mean, whatever. We'll we'll swap it for that one. And you don't have to be stopping and killing everything again right here. You know. We got gold for gambling. Yeah, we got a little gold. A mall is only gonna cost like five thousand three hundred gold or something like that for it per gamble. So, and you have a one in ten chance of getting a rare. But we're also looking, you know, we could get a blue that has some nice stuff. We could also socket a blue. Chat, you may not know this, but currently we got cows terrorized. Go get M boys. There you go. Not great for experience, but you just want to murder a bunch of cows and get some higher item drops. Please spawn Andy on players eight? No. So we are going to spawn Andy on players one. Um, spawning her on players eight, honestly, you might as well reset it at that point. It is very rough and very, very long and hard. Um, yeah. If you want to farm Andy, get the waypoint on level two. If you do not, just ignore the waypoint. That works as well. Uh, but. Yeah, your, our goal here will be spawn around players one. Now, how do we spawn around players one? The thing is, we need to change the player count before we get down to a Dario. Okay? Oh, I'm gonna die. Before we get down to a Dario, we have to change here. So before you enter level four, make sure you put the change in. Now, if you do want to fight her on a higher player count, she'll drop a little bit more loot, but for the Barbarian, it will take a little bit to kill her. You could maybe do like P3 and it'll take some time, but be doable, but P8 will Do players awesome. 8 for the memes. We're not doing players 8, guys. Be awful. The only thing worse would be like players 8 Durigal or something. Seven, funny. I mean, honestly, at level 16, it wouldn't be the worst thing. Like, it'd, it'd be worth
because we are going to hit enough since we have, you know, decent levels here. Do it or I'm calling Moo Girl to pie you. She would never, never join the dark side. She would never pine me again, she knows. What if I was deathly allergic to pie? Hmm. That's what I told her after she pied me. So she said, never again. So again, players won here. But you're not. But what if I was? to pie, then I would sincerely recommend that she increase the price for pieing you in the face. <laughs> if that's the case, what would be the point anymore? Pie is good, but I don't know if it's like not living good. Both of you haven't had good enough pie. I've had great pie, but still. There, there's enough in the dessert zone that you can be uh, satisfied, you know. Okay, now we fight Miss Andariel. Be a little careful. If she spams with the poison like that, you can always go back, just get some more potions. Greetings. You can also get antidote potions. This will boost your resistances. So you have 50 poison res for 30 seconds. Now for a minute, 30 seconds a pop. It's always good to have a safety TP just in case you do die. But overall, pretty simple fight, pretty easy takedown. And bam, give yourselves the clap. Act one is done. And we can also make our stealth now as we just hit level 17. Let's go to Act 2. Join my army of the dead. My man, if you were allergic to pie, the first thing you'd tell her since she cooks a lot is to tell her that you are allergic to lactose or intolerant that. S just logical. Yeah, makes some sense. We'll get rid of all these. Join my army. 24 attack rating, 2 to strength. One more level and the real fun begins those there we'll save all our chips those can be used for re-rolling later we also have 25k gold which is nice uh two more levels two more levels and the real fun begins but here we can get ourselves some flails so now i'm just gonna swap these puppies out as flails get uh or just just have decent damage overall we'll also replace our potions we can just come down here, get ourselves another flail. Now, of course, if you have more towels or Ithel Eth or whatever, you could make yourselves something even better. We'll get a three open socket flail. And if we want, we could put like the topaz and such into said flail, right? I mean, this can be nice. You can also put this into a helm and just make a helm with a little bit of magic find which can be super, super useful. So like right now we don't super need Nadir. So we can find ourselves, okay, that's a better belt. 10 life, 12 cold reds. We can also look at gloves, 12% MF. I'll go ahead and rock those for right now. And you can go back to act one really quick. Grab ourselves a two open socket helm. And like I say, Nadir's kind of something we can look at for later. So, boom, look at that. Now we've got some magic find. And that'll be great. 
And then if you do want to put, you know, something in, we could put like these two chipped emeralds or something into this flail for a little extra damage. We'll see how we're kind of doing and then we'll go from there. So for now, let's go ahead and just get potions. And work our way out. Uh, we can also go into players like eight. Let's see how we do on P8 right here. If it's too rough, we can swap down. But P P8 out here can be kind of fun because you can get some beetle groups and things and get a ton of experience. Gonna take a little bit longer though, right? <laughs> Now, the big place I'd really like to to try and get all the experience from, and this is going to be a little too long, so I actually think I'll drop down to like P5 or something here. But the big place I really want to get the experience from is going to be, uh, let's go players, five. Oh, there are beetles, perfect. Is going to be beetle burst usually a pretty solid place to just get your levels. But if we have big packs of dung soldiers and stuff, who are we to not kill them? As they are worth good experience. And you can see how fast we are getting to 18. And this isn't even like boss groups. This is just some random beetles here. Chilling, you know. In SC, even single player. One time, instead of bread, I stuffed Poa Poa inside the turkey. My family ate it. They said it was yummy. Happy Thanksgiving, chat. What is Poa Poa? Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, skip. Sounds like a, a delicacy. when we level up. So I'm not gonna kill too much on the way, but I will stop to fight boss groups. Even though leapers are some of my least favorite boss groups. Countess for tower runes? Yeah, I mean, Countess for tower runes is always nice. Our armor did break. We'll have to repair that later. Closing in on level 18 here. gonna look for another boss group extra fast Ooh. black gaver gifted a tier one sub to stream elements they have given three oh, gift subs gaver. in the channel okay we'll repair it and move on again i present fire res can be useful later Oh, wait, I missed it. Perfect. Halls of the Dead. Uh, 
and we'll continue to find the far oasis waypoint. Okay, there's the hole. We can also look for El Beetle Burst. That means Mr. Beetle Burst in Spanish. And there is our waypoint. So we can go back. <laughs> Halls of the Dead really doesn't have a lot of great experience in it. So you can stop and kill a couple boss groups maybe, but other than that, it's really generally not worth killing a ton of stuff. Sometimes you have to because they just block the way. If you did put a point in leap by now, then you could use it for leaping around. That can always be helpful, but generally, unless I get like a group like this right in front of me. Oh, that is just a lot of curse damage. Wow, there are so many javelins back there. We got rid of the boss. Okay, level 18. One more level and we can get 19 and begin with our mall. Leap attacking. The rain of javelins. Behold a leap build guide. First off, don't put points in leap. Take notes. <laughs> Fine, you want to point and leap? There you go. Now you can leap in case you get caught. And more vitality. So again, just getting to the boss here. some of our magic find coming into play right there right magic find in our helm plus the magic find in our on our uh, gloves all the little boost of magic find give us a total of 28 percent and every first single percent is the strongest percent you can have so the first percent of magic find that you get is worth more than any other percent you'll ever get Okay, so now we go to the far oasis, and let's go ahead and find ourselves L Beetle Burst. If we can. <laughs> I was hoping he'd be kind of like right up in here. This look like a spawn point for him, but not there. And you don't have to just level off of Beetle Burst if you don't want. Obviously, you can kill other things as well um, for that experience, so it's not a huge deal. Right, you can just go around here. Kill a bunch of random stuff to get to 19, kill other bosses. You could go into the Stony Tomb. Plenty of experience down in there. Um, you know, all sorts of things. <laughs> exactly, Kring. Choking 
mass potions. That'll be a small upgrade to the stranglers we got. And those can always just be useful for, you know, again, big crowds. It'd be nice to just lay it down a little bit on them. Like Beetle Burst will be over here. So a little bit of a ways away. They're asking for price suggestions. I announced that yet. No! Can you announce that? Maybe we announce it together? I was gonna like announce it with the whole thing, but maybe we just kind of start with that. Me talk. All right, we've got a new sponsorship coming up, everybody. It's going to be with Capital One. Uh, it's going to be a fun little sponsorship where we uh, get to earn stuff uh, for a big giveaway. And I need prize ideas for the giveaway. So, Home Watch is going to post a link. We're looking for prizes anywhere from, I mean, you know, your prize ideas could be a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, we could, we could put up like a 4090 PC, i9, 13900K. Did he? Oh, nice. We're almost 19 here. But would love ideas of whatever stuff you guys are wanting. Great dexterity. That's not bad. I will get rid of this eight attack rating. Grand charm, that's a little much. Um, and if you want as well, we could totally run a mercenary right now. So, getting like a Blessed Aim Mercenary can be always fun. I'll put there you go, Hazade. But we can like, okay, we'll reset here since we have those waypoints. Good exactly, evening. Jade. Yes? <laughs> What's in my wallet? I don't know. It's lost somewhere. Trip to Lamacon. Moo Girl said that could be a good one if we did a trip to Lamacon as the grand prize. With, of course, the funding to pay for Lamacon. You know. Prize money used for paying for the event. Thanks. Uh, I believe you'll be able to win, but not participate in the helping of it. So you won't be able to help us get to the giveaway victory, but you could win from the giveaway. So, all upside for you. And there we go, we have level 19. I'm gonna go ahead and just go into Mace Mastery really fast. I'm gonna kill Beetle Burst really quick. Then we'll do our gamble and our respec and begin L Leap Attack. Yeah, if you use a VPN, you can. This is true. But that'll be released soon. Details on all that. For now, I'm just looking for what sorts of prizes should we put up. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way into leap attacking. Next. 
dexterity. So first things first. We'll go ahead and just sell, make some space. And we want to gamble, and we're just looking for a mall. Now it's, again, we're level 19, which is what we need. It's going to be a little hard to find a mall. But it is in here. You just got to dig deep. Somewhere out there is a mall for me. I missed a mall? What? No, I didn't. There's one. Did I really miss it? All right, whatever. Four to max damage. It's not bad. Two to max. Join my right are. Is it hard to find a mall because of Amazon? Yes. Oh yeah, that reminds me to renew my Prime sub. Two to max. Come on, two to strength. 18 ED, one to max. It's the best we got so far. Not a lot. So, you know, we can keep gambling for something better later on. Welcome but for now, we have two extra strengths. So we'll go to 71 strength. Good enough. And we'll put the rest into vitality. We'll dump those suckers. We'll go here. Gambling malls so he can hammer dudes? Max Leap Attack, dump there into Leap, and Mace Mastery. Now again, if you wanted to get a point into Battle Cry, you could do that as well at this point. Um, that it would totally be acceptable. But I feel like let's go, let's go big, big damage Whack-A-Man. Our damage is 75 to 110. It's our hit. Our damage here is 33 to 67 for leaping. Now begins the most fun run of all time. Remember this is players 8 that we're on right now. And this is a terrible boss to have run into for our first boss. We actually got a double boss group. Gotta catch them all. Not bad. Not bad. So like I say, you can see it has that little ground pound effect, and it is going to take uh, a lot more. Leap is not leap attack. Yeah, they're, they're separate. It is going to have that ground pound on top of that hit chance as well, which can be really nice. So you can see when it lands, if you get that nice hit off. Give our mercenary an armor and continue with leaf attack right here, as well as more into vitality. So, and there you can see the leaf attack damage 215 to 314 is my damage if I hit, which has a 90% chance to hit. And then 43 to 86 is the AoE damage. So, yeah, not bad. 
We'll try players eight here. Worst case, we just jump up to the top. As remember, it does have a nice range, even though I'm not using much of the range right now. He did the best he could. It is good to know that the sun shines once again. And we'll continue to put these away. We will want more mana potions though for this build. And let's go to the fire oasis and get in that hole. Champion Beetles. I need mana. Not bad. And of course, you still have a nice, you know, a decent swing hit right there. Yeah, we'll check out this helm. Maybe it's got leap attack. Pole arm mastery, not quite what we wanted. Not quite there, but still maybe worth a little bit of gold. Same with the staff. It's mana intensive, we don't have a lot of mana, so if we could find a rare ring that was like plus 50 mana, that would be amazing. This is going to be one annoying piece of this build for you guys. You're going to be like, why can't I just have, you know, more mana? I run out of mana so fast. All I can say is, yep, you do. Another point in leap attack. I need to get that AoE damage up. put some points to energy. The problem is the Barbarian has terrible um, energy to, to whatever points, so it's going to end up feeling really bad. Scaling. He gets one to one. So every one point you put in energy, you get one point of mana. The lowest of all the characters. You know, energy to the whatever things. You got it. I can't carry anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I want to get a little more gold so we can try and gamble something better again. WMS, thank you. Appreciate the sub. Mana cost 10 for that, and if I just do regular leap, it's mana cost 2. So for traveling around, it makes sense to 
do regular leaps and then for killing, obviously. Do our big boy leaps. Yeah, we didn't really get a good mall from all the all the gambling there. But we've got some more money here, which uh, is nice. Now we can go gamble a few more times again. Squash him like a bug llama. I'm trying. There's nothing the right portion can't cure. Let's go and try a couple more. Greetings. Twenty nine ED. All right, a little bit, a little bit more damage there. Thirty to attack rating as well. Twenty nine ED, eighty three undead, one to two cold damage. So it's the same damage, slightly less attack rating, but I think with all the added to the undead, worth it. All right, we got our first rare mall, small boost, and we'll continue with vitality here. Greetings. Continue on. find the boss. Gorgeous. Those are pretty good players' eight kills, man. Those are pretty good. Alright, Arcane Sanctuary time. Just super leap it if you want. Leap attack, I believe, will get a slightly better range there for that at this point. So. Poison res, one to five lightning damage, why not? And okay. Good day. And if we wanted to fight all this stuff, of course we could, but I can't. Just soar over everybody. 
And remember, Leap also does have its knockback effect, so if you're ever in a tight area, you can always just knock everybody back away from you. One of the nice benefits of a, a giant Leap. Page open allows you to go a little further. Still mad at you for the wasted Zod rune. What? Wasted? We got ourselves a 2570. What are you talking about? Wasted. My goodness. Alright. Moon time? It's my latest YouTube video if you are interested. No! I ran out of mana. <laughs> that can happen if you run out of mana. Nobody saw anything. Everything was totally fine. All right, we'll go down to players five. It, it is players eight, which is a little nutty. Blood Fist would be great. Yeah, I'd love to have Blood Fist. Steel Driver is still my ultimate desire. It's just all the ghosts stack up on you, you know? So you get hit by 20 things at once. Make sure you go down to P1 before you fight Mr. Duriel. Players 1. If you want to do a higher player count, that's all on you, baby. But, additionally... Drink your thawing potions. That's 4 minutes, 6, 8 minutes of cold res that I get. So now I have 62 cold res instead of 12%. Nice thing. But I mean, look at that. Woo! Woo! Stop. 
stomp on that bug. Should have done P3. We could have done P3. 22 MF on those gloves. Might yeah. use them until they break. Diablo has freed his accursed brother. I have 7.30 left on the cold res. Not wrong. Alright, we'll keep it rolling. Nicky skinny jeans. You missed the Duriel fight. Where were you? Yeah, I mean, you actually have decent damage there. You can see 247 to 362 per hit. Clients? Ugh, clients are the worst. Oh, for sure you could get to hours. I'm sure you could go really high on it. Give yourselves the clap. It is time for Act Three. Fidelphia, no! <laughs> he tried. That dang curse got off. I was hoping I could jump in and stomp before he cursed me, but... Alas, we could not. Hardcore viable? It is, but it's going to be... Uh, you gotta be more on the edge careful, for sure, for hardcore. A big difficulty is you're putting a lot of points into, like, strength, and so your life isn't nearly as high as you would normally want it to be. So. It's, uh, it is, it is viable, but it's not going to be. Now, don't be a fool like me. Set a safety TP. I wanted to get in there in time, but I can't carry it. Unfortunately, we did not. I mean, I'm also not running rejuves in my uh, bar, which you always will do on hardcore, so. But when you're in the air, that's what makes it difficult, right? You can't use the potions while you're up in the air, so. If you get in a brutal spot mid-air, you may come down and die before you get a chance to potion your way. Steel Goad. 30% chance deadly strike. The problem is the damage is just so much worse there. I can't care Not enough 
I know, but this mall just has so much, so much more damage on it. Again, just trying to pick up a lot of gold if I can. Great marsh. Favorite build to mess around with. Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of them. Let's see if this somehow has a connection, otherwise... So that's just going to connect straight down, so that's not going to be it. Okay, so we're mostly moving forward through here. If you want to fight, obviously you can always fight more stuff. That's up to you. Just looking for the flare jungle. There it is. Again, for safety, you can set yourself a TP. Got the horned helm. One to taunt, one to spear mastery. That's gonna be a no for me, dog. Probably just gonna go for the standard, get our level 24, you know, then go do ancients, or we could get to level 25 prior. Do it that way as well. 
Both ways kind of work. I think a lot of characters are fun to move through the game with. I mean, like I say, it's hard to pick just one because there's so many and it just depends what you like to play. I don't like playing Summoner as much, but some people love playing Summoner, you know? If you check out exclamation mark guides on Icy Veins, I have a full PVM tier list and it shows kind of the varying strengths of a bunch of builds that you can take through the game. And I think that's uh, really useful in just, you know, what what sort of strength do you want? Do you want to be a S tier clearing it, or do you just want to, like, play through the game on a slower character but have a good time? Like, I loved playing, like, Venge Paladin. That was a really fun build that I did one time. It was really fun to get through the game with that character. Never one that I kind of expected to play through the game with, you know? like a, a magic card, yeah. Is Ancestral Recall the one My no, that's overall timely. favorite build is Vengeance. Slow, but can kill absolutely everything. Let me think. Ancestral Recall is... Draw three. It's like the brainstorm. That's right. Yeah, being able to kill everything with it was just really, really nice. One of those ridiculous cards. Uh -huh. And then we'll put those there for now. Time walk, I was gonna name all of them, but I think I would have been short. Cause yeah, it's the five uh, Moxins and Black Lotus, and then t Time Walk. What's Time Twister? There's the draw three and the you get an extra turn after this one, which is Time Walk. But what's the ninth card? I don't I don't know the ninth card. Can't remember it at least. Time twister, I guess. It's a blue card. I know that much. Discard hand. Shuffle Graveyard, draw seven. Oh my god, that's so good. doing nice now. It's kind of funny that all the overpowered, like the power nine crazy ridiculous cards are either uh, like the artifacts or blue cards. <laughs> like none of the other 
cards got got that really. Not the other colors, but yeah. It's just I think back then they didn't realize how much having like control over hands, cards just control in general would be like overpowered. I am overburdened. I can't it's hard to say where the Black Lotus is going right now. I don't know if it's still worth like a hundred grand or not. I mean, it always depends the rarity of it, what the condition is, and if it's alpha or whatever, but. <laughs> Whew, that stomp. <laughs> Good lord, this guy stomps on people, man. Good old birds of paradise. Where can we follow the progress? Uh, there's Reddit slash r slash llama rpg i haven't put a lot of the progress there but hmm 10 ias i wonder if that actually has an effect or not i'm really not certain if 10 ias really makes much difference we can go play around with it and see And wow, look at that. Tri res ring with three to min damage. That's gorgeous. We'll put it over this ring. Absolutely gorgeous. Good evening. We'll do it later. Very rare to get an actually useful ring right there. And pick up a little bit of gold. Am I using Maul? Because I hit big with Maul. Look at that damage. Nom 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 nom. one sadness the aoe is just flat from the skill so without any scaling it kind of starts to definitely fall off later now we are in the lk if you're in the lk there is a lot of stuff to go pop and maybe you can find yourself something nice just remember once you pop the fun don't stop you can, of course, run around on players 8 doing this as well to get even better Hello. stuff there. We'll see what this Barb Helm gives us. Two open sockets with 10 to life. Poison Lake reduced. It's not any bit amazing, but it is an extra 10 to life with two sockets. So if I want to put like a Rao rune and something else in there for some resistances, it's, you know, it's something. So here we can go players eight though. And then when you players eight and start popping all these poppables, you're going to start getting more things, which is nice. And like I say, there's just going to be chest and logs and racks and all sorts of stuff. Uh, skeletons. Another Rao rune right there. If I take a damaged maul and imbue it, it's not still damaged, right? I think that should undamage it. Hmm. 
Grand charm. But yeah, you can you can come out here and farm like crazy. Oh, maybe you can't imbue it. Yeah. Probably that's correct. Broadsword, hey yo. So we just look for the super chest, should be, I, I imagine, right up here. Maybe it's off left. More stuff to pop. Uh, no, no uniques yet this run. Uh, still good. Still good was the one. That's right. But we can do these super chests right here and try and get ourselves some nice stuff. I am overburdened. I am overburdened. Uh -huh. Impossible. And you can do this as many times as you want, which is nice. Thank you. We'll do the golden bird while we're down there. Three to strength and poison res. Not great. One to three cold damage. It's okay, but not amazing. Resist lightning. And we'll get these suckers out. More stuff to sell. Perfect. We can look for teleport staff. There is one. It costs 80,000. Which is a little more than we'd normally like to spend. But we do have all these chip gems. So we can use chip gems and some wands or scepters. To try and get it. So let's take a look. Yes. Jeez, Raymond. Just go buy us nice and cheap wand. Nice and cheap wand. And a nice and cheap wand. All right, let's roll them. That will work. That will kind of work. That will not work. And one to bone spear. All right, so we've got three of those, which can be sold for gold. <laughs> Reroll stabs and just hit teleport charges. That is the easiest way, probably, right? Okay, 15,000, 15,000, and that one, unfortunately, not a ton of money, but enough for us to get a teleport staff. Now, you can find these teleport staffs for as cheap as like 16 grand. Um, so, you know, you don't have to burn 80 grand, 100 grand, 120, whatever, but it'll just take more time to shop. However, you do want to shop before level 24. Now, again, we are on P8 in the LK, so this is a great place where you could just get a bunch of gold um, from just picking up random things. You can also get jewels and gems and runes and all sorts of stuff uh, by just coming through here and popping all of these little poppables. Fight the bad man. This is players eight, so another point in leap attack. We're just always gonna keep bumping leap attack. Especially on softcore. 
this is hardcore, you know, we'd be looking to get into battle orders probably around this time. Grab a breastplate. And. Grand Scepter. Another breastplate. And there's another breastplate if we want it. Why not? Why not? Go and sell these bad boys. That sucker out. And just getting a little bit extra gold. Just to make ourselves feel a little better with the extra gold. Plus, if we wanted to, we could, of course, go and get uh, do some more gambling for even better malls. Oh, for sure, money. Almost definitely. Still got the bird wasting space. We'll turn the bird in when it's time to show the bird some love, you know. Okay, we got our potions. We got our vitality. We have level 23. You want to shot before level 24 because then you can actually see the teleport staff as red because it can't be used until level 24. So then you don't have to look at every single staff, you just have to look at the red ones. Something. Yeah, the swarms have good physical, so. Okay. Physical uh, defense, so it's not gonna be quite as good. Now, I do wanna find a waypoint here as um, we do want to Impossible. Oh wait, I have the waypoint here. Okay, we're good then. I was gonna say, as I do want to come down here and fight. Thirsty bus, thank you. great place to get that experience to get up to level 24 and above wherever we want to get. So we can farm this multiple times if we want. Sub now to increase your chances of winning. Indig That's not how it works. There's no increased chances. Good day. Okay. FCR rings are kind of fun. Let's do this. That'll work. This looks painful early on. This is player's eight, so... Just uh, keep that in mind. What can I do for you? Ok, 
Okay, so we can do the bazaar. And again, if we want to keep leveling there, we totally have that option. Which is just kind of a nice, nice thing for us. gets us almost to level 24, which is fantastic. So let's just move on out from there and uh, continue the game. Our stealth has broken again. We'll deal with that later. Howdy at Mr. Llama SC. Howdy. How are you doing, the Donnie? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. 24. We'll continue with the leap attack. Getting our damage. Yeah, I mean, player's aid experience gain is very good when you're killing boss groups and stuff. Which is why if you can kill them at any okay speed, which this is definitely okay speed, it ends up quite nice, actually. We'll go more vitality. Pike could be good if we want to go and uh, get the mercenary again. Join my army. Probably have a little trouble though right now. Hey Llama, what would you say is the slowest Found playthrough life. build in the game? Punch bar was was pretty dang slow, man. But probably like Arctic Blast Druid. <laughs> Maybe like one, two. Who knows? <laughs> Slowest, but actually has to make it through. Yeah, punch barb. Then I don't know if Arctic Blast can make it all the way through. Maybe. Maybe. Make a myth armor. I ain't got the runes for myth. Probably better than punch barb. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks. Arctic blast is atrocious. Go players one for Travancol, just because I don't feel like, you know, fighting a players eight Travancol. Clear speed of it. And Catherine's darn. I 
thought if we could maybe at least start the angelics, that'd be a that'd be a nice boost, man. Get those angelics for later. Uh, kind of looks like a wraparound map, actually. Thanks, Hermes. And we are 24, so we actually can get our uh, teleport staff. As My well. last playthrough was a wind druid. No respect, just cold wind, a scepter, and a merc. That was slow. Sounds a little slow, yeah. Hold the 41. Nothing really holds a candle to that maul damage. <laughs> thank you, Rice. Thank you, Hermes. Axes really get trashed on until you get to like Berserker Axe or something. Let's do El Mephisto. And give yourselves the clap. Ooh, heavy boots and a rare maul. Hello. Triumph players ate the chest back here. We'll get an assault helmet. Paul Axe might not be bad either. Grab it over that. Probably not, though. We can check it. Act 3 complete, and yeah, you might find yourself something nice like a pair of Sandy's booties. How sweet is that? One the iron skin? No, thank you. So you get the 18 to 39. Not bad, but nothing amazing. Uh, requirements minus 20%, but we already have the enhanced, or the strength already. Prevent monster heal, 42 attack rating, but the damage just is, is a little low. I don't think it's gonna be worth it. I like just having our big old boom boom stick instead. go like this and of course if we want we can also try and gamble for that mall again see what we can get knockback I don't really want ooh there you go chance for amp damage on striking 47 ed 87 attack rating one to strength 10 fire res that's what we're talking about baby upgrades plus maybe one day we gamble a bone snap but yeah we take it we take those little upgrades like that for sure Now I only have 29 fire res, so this is where having, uh, using like a Rao rune can be beneficial to help out with that. I can't carry if we just think, ah, you know, right now it's a little bit. I've got an open slot in my kappa, so we could put a Rao rune in there, or we have another two open socket cap that I could jam two Rao runes into at the moment. But one would get us up to 59%, which I think would do pretty well. 
Yes, we also are gonna kill Ishwil soon. To get us some more. Skill points. And we can either use those to try and boost damage more, or at this point we could try and go into the increased speed, or we could also go Howl and Shout, so then we can get a point in battle orders later. All of those are possible. Honestly, I, I kind of don't mind just going more like damage or something else right now, and then we can respec in like Nightmare and get a little bit more into battle orders. We can get out of a little, a few leap points and shift to BO so we can be a little safer. I think that could be done. But this is kind of an interesting character because a lot of times a character we're either looking for plus to skills gear and that's like our main focus, FCR and skills, or we're looking for, you know, like attack rating, damage, whatever. But this character kind of cares about both. This is kind of funny. A little unique in that aspect. Like we, we want to be able to make sure we get, you know, more damage and AR and all that for our hit, but also the AoE damage is coming from this leap. So both are good. Hard to hard to say which one is the one to focus on. Got that amp damage off. That's so cool. Man, that's a clutch chance for amp damage. Love to see it. Oh yeah, I mean, amp is double damage. Like, it's huge. And when you're already hitting for 350 to 480, like that's massive, massive damage from. Get somewhere else and drag mouse to him. Try it out. I don't really have enough mana to go for the more more hit. We really haven't found anything with like good plus mana, ringer ammy that would be super helpful. And I don't feel like I have the points to spare to really put it in there, you know? Sweet Lord in heaven time just guess. keeps trucking on. That it does. 71 months. This gets crazy. 
the end of it will I go over best gear possibilities? I don't even know what best gear possibilities are. Besides, probably just grief as always, right? <laughs> Though it could be nice to have like an e botted war pike or something. Okay, so we have these two skills. Could get to the increased speed. Could also go and try and save for natural res, but that probably comes sooner and go there, but that probably there. Uh let's get let's get increased speed with it. Mm, it is nice, but losing half freeze duration is actually pretty big right now. So we'll wait on that. What do you need? Yeah, I think she actually is in bad wrecking counts. I think she could definitely do uh, a little bit with it. See, where is this? Um, all the way at the front. Yeah, this is kind of more old school, uh, like 1.0, this is the build you're running here. This is just what you expect from a Barbarian, you know? I think that's the thing. It's like, when you play a Barbarian, this is how you want it to feel. Like a big ol' Mr. Man run running around, jumping around. There are no rubies in there either. No rubies. Okay. Let's go. You want to tune FCR signal that yells stuff to death? I think having a game that can do both is the best. Shine. I need mana. This is also where Nadir could come into play and be useful. Hmm. 
<laughs> it's one way to get rid of low resist. Die it off. Like I say, having the deer here could be very useful. Additionally, having something just like another Rao rune in the helm could also be really useful. Both of those would really help this character out. What do you need? If this was hardcore, you can bet your butt we would have that going on. <laughs> I can't. Impossible. I can't leap backwards? Interesting. Barb should have a mobility skill where he can run through a wall. <laughs> I like it. I do play hardcore. I play hardcore and softcore. Because they're both different. Like I say, on hardcore, if I was playing hardcore right now, I would not have died yet. I wouldn't ever dive into a group of fire burning mobs while I have lower resist, nor would I be running around with a round in my stash and not on in my helmet. But it just kind of opens you up to play, you know, kind of fun. Like sometimes it's fun to die and jump in and just see how things go. And so you just have that option here. I want to see, yeah, see that didn't kill me, but it came close. that El Diablo is dead give yourselves the clap and we've got Kinemil's owl as well 16 to 50 damage again lower but we do get nice AR from it and 30 to 66 Wow this almost matches. 208 to attack rating and a chance for Nova on striking with added lightning and fire damage. That's actually a nice pole axe. Like, that's actually not bad. Hmm. Respect to pole arms and farm insight can actually be solid. We are level 25, just in time for act numero five, as this will now allow us to farm here if we so desire. But 
Ah, so the attack would probably be decent here or, uh, with uh, Insight. Because Insight is really big damage. Plus, it would get us mana back, which would be really nice. I think it's worth trying out. This is the poor man's teleport right here. Oh, we just need a four open socket pole arm, which we can find in the cows. So. Hard to beat the one we have, though. The siege is broken. Tell you what. Amp Mall slaps. So close to Bone Snap, I know. Ooh. Okay. So it's slightly lower damage. But it has 20 IES on it, 11 AR, which is less. We'd lose attack rating. This also, yeah, we'd get a little mana per kill. I mean, it lowers us down an okay amount, though. But the 20 IES, I, I, I just want to see what that looks like. Okay, so that's the same. So the IES isn't doing anything. Right? Probably just on when you land, like the swing is my guess. But I don't actually know. I'd be curious if someone who actually has knowledge on uh, its functionality, that's actually something I, I do not have information about. I, I imagine it does have some help. Let's also get our teleport staff in. And we can do players eight. Like I say, I, I imagine it is for the actual swing at the end of it. So let's see how players eight goes here. Not too bad. So this is where we can level up however much we'd like. I would probably say getting yourself up into the 30s here seems like a pretty decent spot. Ooh, four to life, 22 cold res. That's usable. Yeah, it's the same chance to cast on both.
Nice. I want to get a better pour open socket if I want to go inside there. Total trash. Okay, more vitality and more leap attack. Partisan would be a great base, but I you won't be able to find that in cows, right? More cows. I need money. Or would I be able to? Lochabrax can only get three open sockets, though. Oh, you just mean for the base there. In terms of base for this dropping. Salutations. This would be just a nice way to build up some gold. Which is always nice. One in 8,435 chance for partisan base from Norm Cows. Okay, so it is a drop in your base there. XP coming in chunks. Players eight, man. Players eight. That's wonders. Again, it's players eight. If this was P1, we would crush them instantly. So, in terms of quick ways to load up on experience, it's actually decently efficient. I mean, we're 27 right now. We'll go a couple more levels here. And we're also getting gold, some random gems, chance to set some nice things. gloves maybe yep yeah, but we have to wait till we can make the blood gloves what rune is needed for blood gloves is it soul or am honestly i'll probably go take a look at multiple blood things is it only nef Nice then. 
Great sword. Oh, that's nice. I just need the perfect ruby then. Salutations. 25 to 42. Has some things about it. 100 strength required and 60 dex. Wow, durability 150. So it was a failed unique. Oh, I have to save the barbs first. That's right. Any chance to ever interview Brevik? For show. Belt is just open. Okay. So we'll go and do some Nightmare Towers with this character, so I, I won't spend too much longer in here. 23 Fire Res is not bad. We can give that to the Mercenary as well. And repair. Vitality, more Leap Attack. I use bone snap. I haven't found it. If I found bone snap, I would use bone snap. If I found steel driver, I would use steel driver. Great mall. Let's go, baby. A rare great mall. That's huge. Potentially. Let's see how it looks. Also nice to be able to find that potentially. Not enough mana. Ah, garbage. Absolute garbage on it. Yikes. Come here. Stop teleporting away from me. <laughs> okay, we'll go down to players one. I guess we could run around at a higher players count, like maybe players five. Save the Barbarian so we can go and get a Barbarian to join us. <laughs> Gotta save our Barb friends. But yeah, I just wanted to be like roughly 2930 for when I do Ancients, because the higher that you do the Ancients, of course, the more experience that it ends up being worth, whether it's an additional level, because it's just if you get the whole level or just plain experience, of course, it always just gets harder and harder to get experience as you go up, so. I can't. Polarians as an 8-man? This would be fantastic as an 8-man. I would, I would die laughing. Let's do this and this. I can't believe you would fail me like that, Mr. Maul. Okay, higher. So I want to get the defensive one. Let's get Brom. That's a cool name. Oh no, I meant to take off the breastplate before I did it. That's okay. You can use that and you can use that. 
And I don't have a good armor for you right now, so sorry. That's not a huge deal. Alright. Open socket war spear. Could try and make like a strength or something for Brom later with that if we wanted. Give us some more options. Something like that, vampire. But for now, we'll just run through. man. He is a chunky, chunky boy. I love to see it. He doesn't even have a That's why I like Act 5 Mercenaries a lot for uh, for this stuff. Save Anya? Yeah, we'll go back for Anya. We just had to get this waypoint. Let's do players 1 for Anya saving. We'll hold this over here for now. We'll probably find better later, but something. Double Barb is just super cool. Has an AoE on it now. Ten all res. We say thank you very much. Good afternoon. Too many health bots. Eh, we're gonna go to ancients though, so that's fine. No. Seven by three quick math. Ooh, seven by three quick math. That mods. For 21 months, what up? How you doing, bro? You excited for whatever things happening stuff? Somebody on the tweeter posted some something. Is it like 
ultra hard mode or something. Why don't they allow trade in D4? Because they're silly. Just silly gooses there. That's okay because Llama RPG is coming out, and I hear that they allow trading, and it's amazing. Just what I've heard through the grapevine. Can't you just drop items to trade them? No, I, I'm, I believe if you drop something on the ground, it's not seen by other people. variety of ways to trade. Have a little like auction house place, have a individual trade space where you need to go find where they're, they're at to go kind of trade. We're still working all the different pieces of how we want it to be. Alright, let's go get some mana. Hello. Shall we? Just nasty when it hits, though. <laughs> oh my god, when that amp damage hits. have to see how all things end up. I mean, nothing is set in stone, you know? I'm sure they can change many things, so you can always give feedback. Especially when betas and whatever things happen. And Multi-target with its AoE, but single target with its, like, actual mall damage. So you can see, 434 to 595 damage is dealt to a single target if it hits. Otherwise, 187 to 374 is dealt to the AoE, but that will always hit, so...
partisan. Now, can this partisan... Ooh, 20 faster run over 15 fire res. But it's still probably not better than what we have. Can this partisan get four open sockets? That is the question. Let's take a look. Worldstone Keep. Level three, demon sprite, monster level 38. Oh no, Diablo Wiki's down. I missed the other one. Uh, partisan four, perfect. So that is right within 26 to 40. Oops. Wait, why did that do that? That's. And this should be monster level 38, it says. And I believe that is the monster that dropped it. someone wants to correct me on that they can but if we can get that then we get the meditation aura but 200 to 260 ed nine min damage 180 to 250 bonus ar on top of like Ooh, crit strike legend. which is really nice three mod thank you five all attributes two mana per kill 23 mf i mean insight is just ballin right and 200 to 260 ED, I mean, again, if you take a look at it, you've got 34 to 75. Now, it does have high requirements. That is the one sad thing, you know, is uh, the requirements are a little bit up there. We're only at 78.39, and that is 67.113. So, we would, we would definitely need to respec in Nightmare to get that puppy going. But, it would make our damage really shoot up which would be really nice obviously we need soul rune though so this is something that's not happening till nightmare um countess anyways unless you know we do some barb running or something but definitely something to keep in mind and like i say that drop from i believe the sprite Soul from Bale would be okay. I would accept it. for the deer, so we may have to get another one of those. But it was. Pretty good. Oh okay, yeah, the amp damage slaps. Mercenaries and Hydras, bro. Every time. I can't carry Every time. Let's go players five for this wave. Let's see how it goes. Good. 
Definite bale wave farming potential. Oh. Thanks for the quality Diablo content. Oh, no Thank you, Thrax. Definitely some potential there. I'm gonna go players three for the final wave. Give it a try. All right, are you a blizzard? Uh, I don't know, I think it sounds very similar. Some of those. Adding in wave six. Ooh. Any info on announcement macros? What? Layers three is a little rough. <laughs> for for wave five. Well, I had to give it a shot. Might not be bad if we stick to edges more. Hard to not jump right into the middle of them. His tendency is to leave them in the middle. Nice. Stay on the outside here if we can. not terrible like that's players three wave five that's that's a hard wave it's really doing okay surprisingly one I would also accept Steel Cutter or a Soul Rune. Whatever is high damage, you know. I need mana.
strong unique. Good old Bavaret's keep. It's all good. Oh, good. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Players eight. Set it. Let's get 32 and then, uh, yeah, we might saga quest that part is in. We'll just have to see if I get the soul rune and stuff. might drop a natural one as well, so it's no reason to socket it prior. Seems clunky. I mean, it's minorly clunky, but overall, not bad. One to taunt. Not gonna do it. A coward's hiding place. Ring mail, get some angelics. 